John R. All right, like it's, yeah, keep going. It's like over 75, right? Yeah. Oh, then you went the wrong way. You should have went left. Yeah. Yeah, and it's about like a mile down on the left, right next to a Mexican restaurant. Don't see the sign for the Chicken Shack, so pass that. Yeah, it's like past Chicken Shack. Well, go the other way and call me. And call me. Or text me. All right, bye. Every single one of your guests has gotten one. I know. Uh, we, we made it. <laughs> you guys did make it. <laughs> we're, we're not rookies to the travel we, game. We went to Parsons Creek. It was crazy. No, we went all over there already. I tried buying jeans. How'd we that work out for cheapest you? cheapest ones were 80 bucks. At Partridge Creek? Yeah, and then I went to... Nordstrom's. I mean, like as soon as I walked in the door, because I was just trying to get something fast, hundred eighty something dollars for jeans. Yeah. We got look for at jeans? look at look at what he ended oh, up yeah, with. I got some JJ beans. <laughs> they're they're LL beans. LL beans. Yeah. LL beans. Not not JJ's. <laughs> JJ's cousin. JJ's cousin. Aww. <laughs> Yikes. That's fantastic. He just lost. He was talking about how it made his thighs look so much better. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he was in the store. And then I grabbed him some store help twice. Yeah, this guy, I'm in the changing room. And he uh, sent an employee saying I was nervous in the store. <laughs> so what? this guy knocked on the door twice. <laughs> is everything oh okay? He was in his underwear. <laughs> is the music awesome. playing? I don't hear it. Yes. Oh, uh, we're clowns. Oh, where is your music there?
snow bunny car in the front? <laughs> that was pretty easy. That I was don't know. That was a giveaway. In the spot. What? We her car? Side street. The jams are off there. Huh? The jams are off? All right. Jennifer? I'll be right there. Oh, because these are not. Bye. But it's time.
What up, Detroit? It's your girl, Snow Bunny, and we're live on Detroit's back, podcastdetroit.com. And, of course, there's no snow jobs for everyone yet because I don't see no snow on the ground. What is up with that? It makes me kind of sad. It's Thanksgiving. You think it's, like, global warming? Why isn't there snow? Give me the snow jobs. Foulmouth, when's the last time you had a snow job? <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> I guess uh, last time it snowed. <laughs> Aw, <laughs> wrong answer. I was hoping to get something good. So what's going on with you? We got foul mouth on the show. Yo. Yay. This one says ring for wine. I, I want it says uh-huh. ring for weed. We can make that happen. I know. I need one. Ring for weed. Ring for weed. So what's going on? What's popping? Uh, not much. I'm just uh, stopping in and saying hi. Hi. So introduce yourself to the listeners and tell them a little bit about yourself and how awesome you are and how you've been working with all these um, good people, uh, Kid Vicious, Roy's, uh, Bazaar, and Gordy. Gordy's like one of my favorite people on the planet. Yeah, Gordy's funny. He's mm-hmm, a good dude. Mm-hmm. So tell me about how you, you know, hooked up with them and what you've been doing. And you did, a, what was a bully camp? Bully camp, yeah. yeah. That's more of my rap shit. Yeah. Everything else is like my production. Well, tell us. Let's start with the production. Tell us about your production well, and. Uh, uh, basically, with like Gordy, I hooked up with Gordy through uh, Shimmy Bango, Bang Belushi. Obviously, they're they're fat killers. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we did an album called Heroina. Uh, a little more. Than a year Heroina. Ago. Yeah. Oh my god. We did it one day and put one it out. One day. Yeah, we did it one day. It was just an EP, of six songs, but we did it one day, all the writing, recording, everything, and uh, we put it out the next week. After that, I've been been doing a lot for Gordy sets. I got Bango's album done. Obviously, I did a lot for Vicious. If uh, you keep up with Vicious, I did yeah. like I think seven on his last album. Excellent. Actually, um, I haven't told nobody yet this, but we were booking a show on uh, Saturday, January sixth at the Crowfoot, and I got Kid Vicious as the headliner. Oh, okay. So I hope maybe you can be involved in that. Yeah, I'll probably be in the building. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. So and then you're working with um, what's this new? All right, I want to know about the new bizarre Gordy group. Like, oh, tell me about this. That's Lars. I mean, they they had a, <laughs> they had a group called Davidians, but they they switched the name up. They're going for something a little bit different. It's it's been a little bit of time, so you know they're trying to come out a little bit differently. They dropped that. Uh, they dropped Foul World on I think the 30th of October, Devil's Night. Uh, it's doing pretty good. You can download it now. It's uh, I think it's free download. You can get it everywhere. So, just go. It's in every outlet possible. So go find that shit and get it. But uh, yeah, that's uh, it's you know, it's called uh, Last American Rock Stars. It's uh, it's a mixtape. I did all the beats except one. Well, for people that are listening that might not know who Gordy and Bazaar are, give them like a little like snippet of who who they are, like their personalities. <laughs> They're fucking, Stoners. They're fucking hilarious. They're crazy. Yeah, they're crazy as fuck. Way over the top. Right, know? right. So, so you got that going on. You got Kid Vicious. You got um, Lars. Who else are you working with? I got several other projects that I'm doing with people. Too. Like who? Sh- throw um, some out there. Uh, both classics from uh, Ypsilanti, J Classic and True Classic. I got EPs coming out with both of them. Um. <clears throat> Let me get everything together real quick, because there's a few of them. I got my next beat tape. It's going to be coming out. It's called Snake Pit. That'll definitely be dropping. So what what on your beat tapes, like, are those um, available for people to buy, or they just buy the... I usually do free downloads. I mean, I'll probably stick to the free download thing. I, I try to push those, and usually through free downloads. I'll probably stick to Like, on the SoundCloud, or what do you do? It? Or you just... Bandcamp. Bandcamp, yeah. yeah. I'll do a Bandcamp link for that. That's a... Uh, it's done. I'm just uh, I'm trying to time everything out correctly and get my videos ready. Cool, cool. I should have dropped it already, but I'm on it. It's going to come out very soon. Hey, man, it's a work in progress. Sometimes you just, like, get so many things going on at once. It's like, damn, yeah. busy, busy. And then you have um, the bully camp. That's with who? That's with uh, Joy Knuckles and Aztec. Uh, Jake New, Meta, uh, Meta Science, Tone Plumber, he's all over that, too. They're both all over that. They're just not on every track. For the most part, the three of us are. That's that's my rap shit. That's uh. That's your rap shit. That's my rap shit. It's that's that's your rap one, shit. It's when I still <laughs> rap. I mainly just do beats. I feel like a producer now. It's weird. Excellent. Kind of weirded out by it. So what's what's your plans for the future? What's your five year plan? No, I'm just oh. joking. 
Get paid. Get paid. Get paid. F bitches and get paid. Retired. I didn't say the F word. <laughs> I said F. Oh, no swearing? <sighs> You can swear. Just not F. We're trying to eliminate the F bombs for sponsors. Yeah. I'm trying really hard. I'm yeah, trying. We got, we got so I just say everyone. F this and F that. We need like a neon sign. <laughs> you guys need to like no. just stick, <laughs> stick like extra letters in it. When yeah. It, so you can still say it. It just won't be the real word. <laughs> right. Right. So, um, Detroit Fights Dirty, are you familiar with Foulmouth? Have you ever? What up? What up? Uh, yeah. I've seen him around a couple of shows here, here and there. Um, yeah. I'm really close with Aztec. And yeah, let's say probably with Aztec. Yeah, he's another one. I'm. I got a, lots of tracks with. As soon as I start getting release dates, I'll start promoting those too. But there's like literally seven albums where I did almost the whole thing or the whole wow. thing. They're gonna drop over the next year. So where do you find time to do that and have a normal life? Is that all you do and is work? work? Yeah, work and, I, and I don't do leave, that. Yeah, I don't leave the basement. I just hang out down there. Well, I'll you leave, enjoy I leave it. for my own shows, and that's about it. I mean, well, realistically, you enjoy it. yeah, I love it. So how did you get started in music and? Um. My dad was a musician. He uh, he had a band that had uh, had a hit in the seventies. They had um, they had a remake of House of the Rising Sun. He was in a band called Frigid Pink. So I've always been around music. My aunts, uncles, everybody they're all musicians on my dad's side. So I've always been around music since I can remember. Awesome. So, how do you feel being a rapper in Detroit in in a cesspool of rappers? Once you once you get over thirty, it's kind of whack. I know. I'm like 32. I'm like, man, after we drop this, I don't know. Yeah, I feel whack about it. I feel whack just telling people now. It was cool when I was like 20. Like, yeah, I'm a fucking MC. Yeah. Oh! Oh, (laughs) I mean, uh, (laughs) freaking. It's okay. A freaking one. (laughs) A freaking? A flicking MC. (laughs) With an L. F-bombs, F-bombs. It's okay. Well, that's awesome. So... You you do tracks with all these other people, but is it just mostly rap? Do you do any like um, singers or R and B or? Is no, but I, I got a couple of people who I mess with that sing. I've always had singing on tracks. I haven't actually sat down and done like uh, an album with somebody. Have who, you ever tried to sing? No, I couldn't sing. <laughs> I know some people have tried to sing, and I mean, like a straight, he he sang, and I was like, oh, that's really good. I would never expect that out of him. So I was just wondering if, you know, you sang or you ever tried it? Yeah, like by myself. <laughs> when, no, when you're alone? Uh, that's about it. Awesome. So what's the songs you sent for me today, and uh, what are they about? Oh, what, what else? What all songs I did send you today? Um, send you sent me uh, two uh, Lars ones. I sent you, yep, uh, I sent you Savage Camp. Life, which is the first one we dropped. I'm rapping on it. When I did the beat, do I did the beat to both of them? I, I sent you Suicide by Lars, which is the last uh, latest one they dropped. I sent you uh, Bully Camp. I actually didn't do the beat for that. It's the only joint I didn't do a beat for, but I'm rapping on it. Excellent. Um, what else? I sent you one of uh, my dude Bango's tracks. Um, that's one of the albums. That, that, that album's ready. I'm trying to get that out. So I'm, I'm going to start promoting soon. Um, I sent you that. And I sent you, uh, I think, an instrumental from my last instrumental project. Excellent, excellent. Why don't we play a couple of his songs, and we'll take a little break, and I'll talk to the guests that just walked in, and we'll get them warmed up for the next one. And I like that hoodie. How come I don't got a hoodie like that? I mean, it's been a minute since I've seen you. I didn't see no hoodies like that. Oh, there was only 20 of them. They're limited.
Did you go chill at home? No, I worked. Oh, yeah. no. I don't like working. Double time. I oh, took no. It. Lars! Hey, little kids. Do not grow up trying to be like us. Because the shit that we do is not cool. Huh? Yeah. I got a problem with sleeping. My wife so hard she got a problem with cheating. I'm a fucking drug addict. Stop for two weeks and then get right back at it. The perks and the oxys. The weed, a whole lot of broccoli. Sorry to all my fans. I do two songs, then leave in a van. This white kid been in line for six hours. Spit in the face and then yell black power. Fuck that. I need a meet. Fuck that. Where the cops at? I need a beat. Weirdo. Yeah, I'm a zero. Richard Simmons, my new fucking hero. <laughs> Like I'm lying. These perkies got me flying. A pocket full of dope got me acting right. I'm like 10 minutes away from the afterlife. I'm a loser for destruction with an appetite. Last American rock star, Big uh, Savage. Uh, this life. is horror shit. Knock on your door and get your foreign bitch torn and ripped. Turn into a corpse and force with four inch dicks. Where her oral is. Boy, is this some disturbing, six scurvy, sin worthy, sin 30. Men hurry in, get it in. Bury her body. We like to party. Lottie Dotty, the side of me got her hollering in lobbies. Well, obviously, me and Bizarre kind of an oddity. Psychologically, we are out of our fucking noggins. We are rock and roll legends. Losers, as you expected, cause we reckless. Doing meth on the steps of the Texas sheriffs and blow smoke all on their face. Tell them to eat us like some breakfast. Get arrested and cook. Best that I'm a weapon till they hate me and they spray me and they taste me in my chest and now I'm following directions but not really hawk and spit right on his vest and I'm a motherfucking rock star pass the coat the brand new black axle rose King Gordy a pocket full of dope got me acting right I'm like 10 minutes away from the afterlife I'm a loser for destruction with an appetite but last American rock star big savage life What up, it's your girl, SBZ, live on Detroit's Back, podcastdetroit.com. And everybody's here, and it's a party. We got beers. We got, I was going to say bitches, but we have some nice young ladies here today. And I'm not a bitch sometimes. So, Detroit Fights Dirty, Foul Mouth, Abe, John. What's your name again? Hi. Amanda. Amanda. Karen, what? It's a party. Every day. Pants off, dance off. No, it's just no pants dance. Nobody would know if we weren't wearing pants anyway. I mean, well, we, I, we I, could I, all J. J. not be wearing pants. He's got, <laughs> he's got some new JJ beans. <laughs> Is that the, was that the knockoff of the LL beans? He's like, yeah. <laughs> JJ beans. <laughs> Super tight blues. <laughs> Let's see those pants. When was the last beast? time you were at the mall that you even thought he's JJ like, beans Ugh. was a, a, a thing? <laughs> no, never heard of it. He went to the Gap first. <laughs> Why are you telling on your friends? Well, I thought I thought the Gap was low prices, like Old Navy. Oh no! But they were like ninety-five bucks for oh, a yeah. pair of jeans. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Gap so. is expensive. I, I mean, if you're around Fight Dirty, you're gonna get called out. You say you go to the Gap. <laughs> I was looking for pretzels and cheese. This guy's yeah, like Gap. Go? And 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 Sawyer, what was it called? Oh! <laughs> I went to Alex and Annie. <laughs> Alex and Annie. Oh, <laughs> don't you might be giving away some Christmas secrets. <laughs> No, it's my mom's birthday tomorrow. So oh, shout, out, shout, birthday, out, mom. shout out, shout, shout out, to, to Mama mom. Fight Dirty. She wears it shout wherever she goes, like other states and stuff. And they're like, oh man, Detroit fights dirty. What does my <laughs> hoodie awesome. say? My hoodie says, "Snow Bunny Sweets." Sorry, on the live feed, I gotta zip it up to my neck. Snow Bunny Sweets. That's what it says. Sorry, I had to give the viewers what they want. What they want. No. <laughs> she's been she's been waiting I've very been waiting. patiently for 31 minutes to do that. I have. Yowza. I'm so excited. So Detroit fights dirty. What's popping? What's the new stuff? Obviously that I haven't seen or got. Yeah, we had some limited run. Because uh, like black I feel like I feel like I need that in every color right now. You know, Christmas is coming. You need to just pull out. You need to pull out them screens, boy. And we'll just order the hoodies, and you could just do it for me. I got free shipping on uh, all the orders. Oh really? New Year too. So. Yep, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. So what's up? What's your new stuff? Let's uh, hear about it. Are you still doing the hockey and the, uh, yeah. what was the car stuff or whatever? Yeah, I still got Ride Dirty Garage. Uh, still playing hockey here and there. Uh, a lot of people wanted me to bring back Hockey's Finest, so I still print it here and there. But 
we're mostly focused on we got New York fights dirty coming up. I got some contacts out there, so I put a little team together from here, and we're gonna do a New York fights dirty little mini New tour. New York fights dirty. So. Excellent. Are you still um, sponsoring like fighters and stuff like that? Oh yeah, we just sponsored another female fighter. Uh, she's down in Romulus. Her name is Melissa Holmes. Uh, she's got a fight coming up. Um, we were unable to. Uh, we didn't have enough time to produce her new stuff, but the next one that comes up, we're definitely gonna be there, and we'll be in the house and supporting her and everything she does. Who's so. some of the other fighters that you've supported? Uh, we've had the War Machine, uh, Ray Rochalo out of Taylor, Michigan. Um, we've had uh, Lee Santiago. Uh, she was from Madison Heights. She fought. Yeah, she I fought like the girls. actually uh, for her pro debut. I think it was in Vegas. Oh yeah, she, I think I seen that. She was in like the Ronda Rousey. Uh, yeah, I see. I remember there. seeing that on so, your uh, Facebook. Yeah, that was pretty big. That's awesome. Um, I have my new artist here next to me. Left. He's gonna be uh, kicking. Gangster, it. gangster. Yeah. yeah Let me tell you some stories uh, about us on the Princess Boat. Turn up time <laughs> at like four in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I when I seen he was coming I was like, "Oh yeah, I know them. I know both of them." Yes. That's great. Mhm. This guy can sing too, so I I was like, "Man, let's let's do something." For sure, for sure. So you have the fighters and what about the like weren't you doing like car shows too? Yes, I was doing the uh cruise night at the Coliseum that was uh, abruptly ended. Um <laughs> Because Eight Mile fights dirty. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, that, that abruptly ended. Uh, very, very sad. I'm still looking for a new place to do it, though. The car I mean, show? Yeah, that we have motorcycles and cars. And Did you put your stuff in the Raising in the Bar, Detroit? Yes, I'm in uh, the store across from Lakeside. I do have a small amount of stuff there. I think I have a um, painting as well. Uh, an actual canvas. It's, Excellent. So. I know they do car shows. I'm sure when the season comes, you guys are going to yeah, be teaming up again. Yeah, we'll be doing something. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, what else? What else? Have? I'm trying to think. Oh, and, like, he's so nice. He sends care packages to celebrities for me. <laughs> yeah, what? I've been I've been super blessed by just yes, getting my yes. name out there, you know, and everybody looks out for me. Last night I was at the Yellow Bowls show, unfortunately. I know, I'm bummed I didn't know I was going before an hour, and I was getting calls inside Fillmore from Alabama trying to get me back there, you know, to <laughs> do my thing, and it just the Fillmore people weren't working with me, so it didn't happen, but uh, they invited me to Slum Fest, and I pretty that'll much be good. get to do whatever I want to do, so that'd be really good. Yeah, that'll be good. Where's that at? Uh, that'll be in Nashville at their flagship Slum Fest. That'll be store. nice. That'll be nice. From what I hear. I don't yep. know. I don't have a date yet, but... Yeah, tell everybody about the little care packages that we be sending people. Will you send them? Uh, you send it. Yeah. Giving you the credit. No, you it's just make not, the stuff. No, it's nothing like that at all. I mean, we all work together. That's that's what we're about. So, um, we the last one that I sent that was really a good name was Ritz. And, that's uh, my favorite. He I'm got, like, come on, he got let's some, send him one. Find got, out his contact. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, he got so cool. So he's yeah. my favorite. Ritz. Then, December second at St. Andrews. Go see Ritz. So he got some snow bunny beanies. Yeah, give yeah. it to his girlfriend. Zip up, fight dirty zip up. Yeah, his girlfriend's a snow oh bunny, so I'm sure <laughs> she rocked it out, rocked it out. So how do you know Abe? Uh, I met him. Where did I get on there? Where Where did I meet you at? What was I met him event? through Embargo. Uh, I mean, we've met quite a few times, um, but we've seen each other recently. At uh, Front Row and a couple other. Uh, oh games yeah, end of the summer. Now. That's yeah. right. It was the uh, end of the summer banger. And uh, that was pretty cool. They had like a volleyball. I, Is that the official name? The end of the summer banger. <laughs> That's what it was. That's what it was it like was. end of summer banger or something like that. Was yeah, they it? Had pizza Where was it and at? A keg and was it just somebody's party? No, no it was at a corner. It was oh, at a <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it was at a bar and they had like a volleyball. huge pad. When somebody says banger, I'm like, hey, we be having bangers all the time. What the hell? Well, that's just East Point. Yeah. True. East. She's at East Point. We're East Point crew. East Point for life. Oh, wow. We're, we're deep in here. With we're tri- we're we, so deep. We try and get out, and we keep ending up back I here. know, dude. I just moved two blocks away from where I lived before. I've, I've moved within, like, a two-mile radius probably four times. East Point for life. Don't I see some why. East Pointers city. on my feed. I can never move close. Like, every time I move, it seems to be like I move... Like 30 to 50 
plus miles away. Really? Oh, that's why I can't. A hundred miles. I can't leave my hood. I, my I cannot back, leave my hood somehow. forever. <laughs> I went to Hamtramck for a while, and I really liked it there a lot. Hamtramck's nice. I they have a lot of diversity. Yes. And mm-hmm. how was that living there with like all the different, you know, ethnic people? And it must be awesome though, because I want. Great. I like eating different stuff. It was great. And I'm a gardener, and so one of my neighbors was Bangladeshi, another one was Russian, another one was Polish, another one was Indian. I think I was the only white person. No, there was two other white people on the block, and they were my landlords. Um, But the Bangladeshi lady and I used to farm over the fence, so she would teach me all about her little things, all those weird-looking fruits, and if they were sweet or crunchy or, you know, anything, whether it was a fruit or vegetable. And I would teach her the same about ours. So I definitely learned something. That's awesome. Yeah. Because, like, when I go to Hamtramck, like, the vibe is so good. Like, I mean, it's a little hood. You know it's what I'm saying? It's a lot hood. It's a lot hood. But it's, like, not, like, I don't feel, like, endangered hood. I feel, like, poverty at hood. home. Par- <laughs> parking, <laughs> parking's real good, too, right? Oh, yeah. My my, my, my old car got hit nine times oh, on yeah, my block. Nine. Oh, nine times. Nine times. Wow. I quit fixing it. I quit <laughs> fixing it. And I said, that's it. I'm not buying a new one until I move. <laughs> That's it. Not I do the wow. I do the Memorial Day Hamtramck Festival almost every. I've done oh, it for yeah. five years in a row, and it's so much support. I almost sell out my whole table. Oh yeah, every time. Hamtramck was the place to be. If it wasn't so far from my kid's school, I'd probably still be there. Wow. Yeah, East Point. East Point. I'm back there. East Point. <laughs> yeah, they even changed the school to East Point, which is terrible. <laughs> Cause I don't know about you, but I graduated from East Detroit High School, so East Point kind of. Ruins the vibe. I like when I get out of towners and they're like, "What's Gradiate?" Oh yeah, and that's like, the oh, GPS. That's the GPS version of Gradiate. <laughs> Gradiate Avenue. Yeah, Gradiate. Gradiate Avenue. <laughs> so, Abe, where where are you from? Um, originally, well, I grew up, was raised in Dearborn. Um, kind of moved around quite a bit down river, Lincoln Park, Allen Park. Oh, you're like down river. You know. Well, no, 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 no. Is that we, that's you. Yeah. Oh, we got the down well, river people from, in uh, the East Point. From, <laughs> oh, 2004, snap. from 2014 till 2017, this year, I uh, moved, uh, well, I moved to Warren, uh, like 11 Shaner area, and then finally made my way back down river. Where I feel at least, you know, a little more at home. <laughs> oh, those downriver cats, man. Yeah, you know how that goes. Yeah, Guys I, wouldn't, too far. I wouldn't leave it for anything. <laughs> <laughs> be there forever. <laughs> Lincoln Park in River Rouge. It's me for good. Yeah. Hey, representing. Represent. But I rep the D all day. Oh, yeah, for sure. We know. I see you down there. All day. Um. So what, sh- what are you working on right now? You got, uh, y- you sing. Of course. And you rap. I do a little bit of that, too. Um, got a couple things I'm in the process of doing right now. Uh, I've been, you know, working on building a studio for the past couple of years now, uh, which is, you know, it's a slow process, but it's coming together, you know, the way it needs to, right. when it's supposed to. Um, you know, aside from that, though, uh, in the process of working with my man here and uh, getting stuff on the road, getting moving, but uh, also we're probably going to work on putting a foundation together soon. Uh, kind of s- try to spread awareness for you know hope and belief uh try to get some people to believe in themselves and help them to understand hey you know just because certain things happen in your life doesn't mean you know that it's a wrap you, know, you right. can still get out here and do whatever you want to do well why don't you tell people a little bit about yourself and like your background and like music and like how that's you know helped you yeah definitely so uh when i was seven months old i was in a van explosion and uh Basically, the doctors told my parents, you know, come in, see your child for the last time. You know, mm-hmm. there's he's not going to make it. There's no chance. And, uh, you know, my mom fought the word and, you know, told them, no, put him on life support. Do whatever you got to do. Um, long story short, they put me on life support. You pray every day. Uh, one day, my baby pinky toe started wiggling. And that was after being in a coma for three and a half We're months. looking at a miracle, people. <laughs> So Seriously, that was the first sign of life, and ever since then, I just I ain't leaving. <laughs> That's amazing <laughs> story. That's leave. so inspirational. Thank you. So, like, you do like some motivational speaking, don't you? Yeah, like yep. I uh, I actually attended uh, something called the World Burn Congress, mm-hmm. and uh, it's an organization called the Phoenix Society uh, helps put this event on. And each year, it's in a different place. One year to be in Anaheim. One year to be in like this year was in Texas. Last year, Rhode Island. Year before that, Indianapolis. But I went to Indianapolis uh, two years ag- two years ago, and then last year I went to uh, Rhode Island. I got sponsored to go out there, do some speaking, and uh, also uh, perform one of my songs, which 
uh, I made about overcoming adversities and kind of, you know, some of the stuff that I went through and how, how I overcame that was pretty much through my music. And I want other people to be able to believe in themselves and know that, you know, just because something might change in an instant in your life doesn't mean, like, that could hold you back. Right. As long as you believe in it, you know, and you really are persistent with your beliefs and you have a passion for whatever it is that you're doing, you can make it, you know, you can make it happen. Goal. Yeah. It's so how does it make you feel when you, you know, see people in a similar situation and you're using your music to inspire them and it's like an outlet for you? You say it was like an outlet, like, you know, it, it's all ties in together with like with your motivational yeah, speaking. Definitely. It's like who you are, really. Like the kind of person you are, you're a positive person, a go getter, always, you know, ask how everybody else is doing and, you know. Well, I mean, like the way that I see it is like whether it's a million people in front of me or whether it's one person that I can help uh, make a difference in their life or help, you know, um, uplift them or give them some hope and l give them a vision for themselves. Right. Uh, then, you know, that's all that matters to me. It. Uh, that's all it takes, one person. You know. It is, and it's it's really inspirational to me because, you know, you're using what you have, your talent and all that, just to, like, spread the word and give other people confidence because a lot of people, it doesn't matter, like, what you look like. Like, we were talking about this last week. I had the Detroit Plump Playmates on, and, you know, they get, a lo when they were growing up, a lot of people, like, body shame them, and now... BBWs is the thing. Look out. Uh, we're trending. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's good when you have somebody you can relate to. Like, people, that's what makes people, like, gravitate to you and your music is, like, you know, how personal it is and how you relate. And, you know, that's that's the selling point, I really think, with music is it's got to be relatable. Somebody else has got to, be, you know, feel it. So. So what you got? You got some bars, bro? You gonna sing? You gonna do some Robin Thicke I'll shit? What are couple, you gonna do? I'll spit a couple bars for you if you want today. I don't All really right. uh, rap very often. Today I'm kind of in one of those moods. Oh, man. I'll All right. Well, you, well, we can do it whenever you want. Yeah, just fire it up. Introduce just yourself. Up. <laughs> Introduce yourself, and, you know, you can just drop a little flavor. Cool, and. Cool. I know um, a lot of people formerly have known me as, you know, the Artist Royal. That's what my stage name is. We're in the process of kind of changing that up and... Uh, coming out with something called IB Phoenix, um, which will symbolize the whole uh, burns and burn mm -hmm. survivors and, mm -hmm. you know, more than that even. Um, but today I'm going to spit a little something dirty because I'm wearing some fight dirty. Ain't All right, you can be dirty. Bring out that box. So, you know. All but, right, uh, I can't fight, wait. Fight dirty strong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah All about. right. She had me sitting in this chair, contemplating suicide. It's always on my mind, and I ain't got the time. Like a clock on the wall, tick, 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 tick. Like the nine on my side, click, 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 click. She left me with nothing, but while we was humping, she left me with something, a newborn baby child in my life. All I wanted to do was make her my wife and treat her right and keep her by my side and shining like a diamond in the sky. I told her she was fly, but look at her now. She's trifling and down. I remember when you were mine, I couldn't buy you nothing. I couldn't use a tool. I was a dropout from school, like Manson. Breaking all of the rules, I'd laugh at the crimes I used to choose and still I couldn't get nothing for you. In case you didn't know, I was addicted to you. I cried, die, maybe even kill for you. Oh, man. Hey. He's, does he always act like that? Does, is, he, is he a smooth talker? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh the truth comes <laughs> out. See? He's always got he's always got a cute lady with him. Every time I see him, I'm like, "What is this, dude?" It's the same <laughs> one. Nobody it's knows the that. same one. It might be it a different one. It is the same one. one. It, it is might the same be one. Her plus a couple. Once wow, in a while. is but that I mean, kind of party? It's all right. I mean, it OG works. status over here. OG <laughs> status. That was good. That was good. I liked Thank it. You. So, what's the new project? When's it coming out? Who, who are you doing it with? Is it just you um, recording right, it? Right now, I'm... Sorry, uh, I like the button. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of was wondering about this. At first, I thought it was like a, a Christmas a butler like bell. ornament. A butler bell. And I was like, is That's this a I Christmas need. bell? I need but, uh, like a... Never mind. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, but... uh. You know, I started working with DJ President, you know. Oh, uh, that's our shout dude. Out to, shout out to Press. DJ President. Um, you know, and also Chris. Um, I just call him Fights Dirty. He or, really or doesn't have a real dirty, name to me. You know, <laughs> I got dirty. aliases. <laughs> like, people be yelling, Charlie. Charlie. You're like, who is that? Is it you, Charlie? I'm like, who's Charles? <laughs> Charlie, bit <but> me. <laughs> <laughs> 
what is wrong with you people? Well, you know, I'd like to... I'd like to, uh, in the next couple months, try to put an EPK together of, uh, you know, just more so of the motivational, inspirational music, um, something that we can use while we're on the road that kind of can <laughs> uplift some people and get some people, you know, um, supporting us and kind of spreading well, the tell word. Tell them what with you us. just locked down. What'd you boys? lock down? Tell them what tell you me locked boys. down, man. What I locked down? Well, aren't you guys the, supposed to go on a thing? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The. Uh, well, I, I know that uh, we had some talk about the New York Fights Dirty uh, tour and also Miami Fights Dirty, and also L.A. Fights Dirty, which I think all three would be, you know, super dope. I'm working on getting some things together um, to kind of... I'm going to Miami in nine days. <laughs> Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> True story. Yeah, but <laughs> we're going to be tight. It's going <coughs> to be all right. And I think that, you know, that we're going to have a great time, aside from the fact that we're going out there, you know, uh, uh, to, to do this music and, you know, try to spread the word. I think that we're going to meet some really cool people, maybe experience some other people's stories that might, you know, inspire our lives. You right. Know what I mean, so that's really what it's about, you know, sharing an experience with new people mm -hmm. and building bonds and relationships. Right. Yeah, uh, I, yeah I took some slack for stop doing uh, custom, you know, customer work. You know, I really, I'm just, we're just kind of pushing. Where's my stuff? We're kind of, no, I'm, I'm just kind of pushing, you know, people that I believe in mm -hmm. and people that are talented. And we're really trying to, you know, push it out there, you know, That's go the nation. ingredient. Yeah, right, It's right. to go nationwide. Right, you know? right. I mean, there's so much love in Detroit. Everybody loves Detroit, you know. Well, Maybe they're just scared if we show up to one of their <laughs> venues or something. <laughs> like, well, we're just going to let Detroit do what they want to do. <laughs> so, well, so. you know, I always say, like, I've traveled and been to different countries and stuff but i feel like the more you travel and the more you get out and meet other people the more you have a better sense of yourself because you learn what you want and what you don't want you know what i'm saying it's just the vibe with people different people enlighten you and open your eyes to new things so i mean don't get me wrong like thanksgiving i wanted to sit in my pajamas and eat turkey at my house and not do anything so He's wearing his pajamas under his JJ Beans. Yeah, yeah. Right Let's, see Let's see him. Let's see him. Let's see him. These are JJ Beans. <laughs> <laughs> poor guy. Poor guy. You know, and I think it's it's good for you guys to get out and want to expand because a lot of people, you know, they they doing the I'm not gonna say no names, but they doing the same shows at the same place with the same songs. Boo. 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 <laughs> Usually it's the same old bullshit. It is, it is, man. So it's good that you guys are I'm, all. And I'm just trying to, you know, build a team. I mean, anybody that's inspirational, like this guy <coughs> in my left. You got to have a support and, system. And I, I mean, and it's just talent and <coughs> people that have really proven their craft, you know, because I'm not going to just work with anybody, you know. I just, you know, they all want the same goal. They all want to do better and do Well, we all want to feel like we can do things on our own and. You know, but we always need a support system, no matter what you do. Like, you need somebody there. Posi like, you need positive is really positive, yeah. Positive this vibes people will bring you down in this city, right. and mm -hmm. it's very, it's you very can't let real. that get to you. We're so oversaturated here with music, yeah. all different kinds of music, you well, know. What I think it is, too, why, like, okay, so I think who was I having this discussion? Was it you that I was having a discussion with about um, the, the artist? It being harder for artists to make it here than anywhere else, like outside. If you can of make here. it here, what do they well, say, foul mouth? If you can make it here, you can make, make it, it anywhere. anywhere. Yeah, but this <coughs> this is the thing. A lot of uh, artists here, and it's not necessarily all artists. I respect everybody who even goes out there and tries, right, or right. you know, has a passion for something like this. But a lot of times, uh, I notice that, like you know, this Gucci Mane talk. To <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no. You know talking about gucci shoes or right, right. their bread or what what they can get or what they'll do to somebody that's so they played out it's so cliche on it top of is. it on top of it being cliche though there's no like there's no true message behind right. it like how do you move people with that you know and i think that's Prime why people example are, of that rick ross you know, i think people, <laughs> are, people are getting sick of that stuff for real i'm though. way sick of it you that's know? why i be eating i mean me and um, why i be eating why i be rapping about food mm -hmm. see i'm even thinking about what i'm talking mm -hmm. like that that's our whole uh, next mixtape is gonna be called the Fat Girls. 
Like, I'm not even joking. Like, wait till you guys see what we... You guys remember the Fat Boys back yes, in the day? Yes, I remember the Fat Boys. Fat Boys. Yeah. Like, we're going to be on some other stuff. Like, all their music videos are them, like, at buffets and stuff. <laughs> fat Boys. Fat Boys. <laughs> Falmouth, you've traveled. You've been around. What's some of the places you've been to? Didn't you just tell me you went somewhere cool? Where'd you tell me you went? Iceland. Iceland. Mm. I've been to Iceland, uh, Budapest. That's got to be cool. Those are, like, the cool places I've been to. Austria. I went there when I was in Budapest. Yeah, it was both. So what'd you go there for? Just a vacation or on tour? Or? Just vacation. Excellent. That's choice. awesome. Yeah. You and your girlfriend went? Or? Yep. That's nice, though. That awesome. How do you just choose to go to Budapest? I know. I want to go be there. Like, wake her, up and be like, idea. hey, let's go to Budapest. It was her idea. She How was the food? Food was great. Um, what up? I loved it because it was so cheap, too. It was like, the fact that you can just go do a bunch of stuff and it's not crazy expensive. What'd you do? Didn't do, so didn't do much at all. Just went to like the easy stuff that they had around. Just being there and going to seeing what they have is doing stuff, you know? Right. That's awesome. I can't say that. Like, oh, I did, we did all kinds of crazy stuff. You, so you took we in did, the culture. Yes, right, exactly. Right, right. That's awesome. What was your favorite part about it? I mean, what was the <sighs> favorite part about it? Because I've never been or even heard of it, really. I mean, maybe one time. Honestly, just eating different food is my Me favorite. Me too. My when favorite I go places, yes. I want to eat. <laughs> no, I feel you. I'm, hey, I'm, listen, I quit. I quit smoking two years ago. When Me I quit too. smoking, oh, uh, food and, became amazing. Oh yeah, it just yes. became. Oh, uh, food became amazing. Gained a ton of weight. I've been just eating everything since. I've been. I've been just eating it all. I've been just enjoying every bit of food. Wow, I've gained enough food for 25 pounds since I quit smoking. Really? Oh, yes, I've no, I went 25 pounds. I went absolutely haywire. My mom, the day I quit smoking, she sent me home with this uh, this lasagna plate, and it was this like weird thing where it was like layers of lasagna it was 12 pieces of lasagna and i ate it in all in two days <laughs> my first day i quit smoking i ate every bit of it in two days and i knew it i said it's over with but, um but you feel better not smoking yeah i feel yeah. better not smoking but i gotta i <laughs> can't just can't be like that <laughs> no addictive personality <laughs> I smoke three packs a day. So oh, I'm three packs a, a day? Oh, no, three full packs that's a day. That's a lot of cigarettes. Does that? I did. Does that? It was 60 does. plus. Yeah, there was days with like 70. Like, there's man, you got to get out of that basement. How do you cords I left and some lungs? I mean, that's a I, lot of cigarettes. Every once in a while, like if I'm laying down, I'll do like this <laughs> weird breath. So I think like it's the early stages of... Uh, Emphysema? Uh, CO- COPD? COPD, yeah. Uh-huh. I think. Hopefully it's not because... Um, How old are you? 34. Let's hope not. Well, I, I can I can still run my ass off. Like, I'll have, like, stretches where I'll go to the gym for a month and I'll drop 20 pounds like it's if nothing. the cops are behind you. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, here we go. Let's do this. And then I'll fall off and I'll eat up a storm like I always... I mean, I'll eat I'll eat the whole time I'm running, <laughs> but if you go run three miles a day... You eat and run at the same time? No, if you go run three miles oh a day, six God. days a week, your you, body... I told her you I wanted to, to work you out. Eat more food. What's the best you food to eat while you're running? Yeah. <laughs> No, not actually while I'm running. <laughs> oh. But I'll leave and like <laughs> go eat. Drink. You'll go eat because you <laughs> yeah. burn all those calories. Yep, I'll go yeah. eat right away. I don't I don't care. I'm starving. <laughs> all right, I'm about Let's to ask it. everybody a question. I'm going to start with you. Yo. What is the one food that you could eat all of? Like the one thing that you binge eat? Spinach pie. Spinach pie? No, that's yeah. a lie. Mm. You, after he I'm bought Greek. his JJ no. beans, he was no. at the Cinnabon. <laughs> <laughs> Spine Kobe too. I'm I'm Greek. Really? I love spine Kobe. Oh, I'm Greek too. It's so what good. What about you, oh, yeah. Mandy? What's your what's your uh you, you really gonna make me pick like that? Yeah. <laughs> like I, I What's I the just... one thing that you could eat? Well, listen, when she comes to my house, she eats the whole damn candy drawer. I do eat a lot of but candy. But I'm guilty I like of that chocolate, too. You know? That's what it's there for. I, I want to fatten some them up. Chocolate. Oh, she binges on chocolate. Are you listening, fellas? Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> man, <she just> <laughs> <took it there. laughs> what's your favorite lasagna, man? <laughs> favorite lasagna? No, all that stuff's my favorite. Anything with a bunch of cheese. Ooh, I love cheese. Yep. I love I'll cheese. I'll eat a whole pizza. Oh, I'll, pizza. I, pizza. I'll I can't live pizza without it. And then I'll sneak out a couple pieces out of another box. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, nah, baby, you ate that. Go. You ate that, baby. Calzones. One and cutting it. Get two calzones. Yeah. Let's go for a run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, then I'll run. And then I'll, I'll call it fair. I hey, I actually have a line in the song that's like, what did I say? Forget a pizza. Let's go for a run. <laughs> you say, put on this T-shirt. It says Buds is fun. Let's oh. go get a pizza. Forget a run. True story. Oh. <laughs> That's me. Because she calls me. Like, she would call me after the gym and be like, you are the worst friend ever. Because I'd be like, let's get a pizza. Come on. You just you just ran it off. Like, you're min- maintaining your figure, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> Terrible. That's why we work out to maintain our figures. Right. Terrible. So I know. We can eat whatever we want. I'm <laughs> Terrible. The, I'm the worst friend ever. So what about you, Fight Dirty? You're so skinny. Like, what? Do you even eat? I like, eat so Eat a much. cheeseburger. Pot, a pot roast and mashed potatoes is my shit. Pot roast and mashed potatoes. I like that. All day. I like that. What about you, Abe? Uh... I really like Mexican food. Like it's a fight yeah. between Ooh, that. Oh, hold up, though, hold up, though, hold yes, up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Because oh, fettuccine <laughs> Alfredo with, oh. with shrimp or chicken oh. is my absolute favorite. I'll just like all day long. <laughs> it's amazing. It? It's amazing. It? It's it? so good. Is it, so good. Is it, is it Azteca good? It's better That's than Azteca. No, it's better than Azteca. It's better than Azteca. And it's Plaza Mexico. Plaza Mexico. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm disowning your East Point. Nine Mile is Plaza Mexico. Plaza Mexico. I'm this food now. <laughs> Next show. We're, we're pre planning a menu. Tonight. It's going to be a potluck show. So everybody bring a dish to pass. No. What about you, Karen? Oh, Mexican. You love Mexican? I love it. What do you guys get from Mexican when you go? Everything I can. Me too. <laughs> Chicken enchiladas. Ooh. With extra, red sauce, rice and beans. Ooh. I like the chunky beef Mexican sandwich because it's got the layers. <laughs> oh. It's got the flour tortillas and the beans and the rice and the chunky beef and the cheese. Anything that says chunky beef, so good. I'm there. Mexican, uh, uh, you said Mexican <laughs> sandwich. Those are yes. iffy though because like everybody does them different, so you don't really know about their gravy. So taco <laughs> especial. He, he is an eater. Right Wait, there. You're, you're, from, <laughs> you're from Lincoln Park. Yeah. You're from Lincoln Park. So the only other she place that real. does it right is Taco right. Especial. Oh, okay. That place does it right. That's that's one of the places I eat at. That place is just bomb. I used to gravy. eat at Paco's Tacos and Ecores, but they shut that bitch down. So now there's a Paco's Tacos out in Harrison Township <laughs> that I grew up by that was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you see, you know you know Paco's in Harrison yes. Township. I do. That yes. was the bomb. We love food here. What about you? What's your favorite thing to binge eat? Pasta. Pasta? Oh. Any type of pasta, especially Any type. Ooh, I love mac and cheese. I could eat it all but that's day. like Mexican food. Everybody makes it different. Yep. When I when I worked in Dearborn, Velveeta makes it the same every time. Oh yeah, for sure. When I worked in Dearborn, they'd be like, "Bring that white people mac and cheese." I'm like, "What's white people mac and cheese?" <laughs> it's Box with Velveeta. Cheese, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Learn something new every day. <laughs> yeah, I like love pizza. Like, I love pizza so much that I call up to Marky's, the pizza place by my house. So great. And they'll be like, oh, this is Jen, so you want to choke on the cheese, right? Because I'll be like, extra cheese. So they'll be like, Jen's on the phone. She wants to choke on the cheese. And then they like, you know, we prank call them all the time. Because like, they're right next to a liquor store, so sometimes they'll bring you a liquor or beer. I don't know if that's legal. Their, their, but slice, they, their slices are like a quarter of a pizza. Oh, yeah. Around. Their slices I are a quarter it. of a pizza. Like, this is a fat person's place so one night i'm at the holiday inn and i order a pizza all right and they deliver it the next day they call up there the owner and he's like who is this and i was like jen he goes oh because they left your phone number and said you're in this room waiting for me at the holiday and i'm like <laughs> damn you <laughs> marky's pizza Damn you! I love that place though. Oh, I do. I would when I when I lived across Nine Mile, I could only walk there and get it because that cheesy bread is too buttery to put in oh. your car. They got a drive-through. <laughs> Chewy bread. They drive yes, they put a drive-through in. What? Yes, it's I amazing. think this and they're guy, open till three. I think this three. guy next to you actually, actually got me involved with pizza that. Places. That I is for the Michigan through. skinny people who never get out of their cars. <laughs> no did joke. You say Michigan skinny people. I did because that's what we are. Oh, we're skinny people. We're Michigan skinny. What's that mean? I mean we're, Michigan's we're fat. Up to par. And that means oh, we're, we're on a par four. Oh, so uh, technically <laughs> I'm skinny. <laughs> I'm skinny. I'm skinny. I'm skinny. I'm skinny. I'm skinny. I'